Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you very much for joining. Uh, today, uh, we will be doing uh, clearly a US Open webinar, so thank you very much for, for joining. My name is Russell Shaw, Senior Market Specialist at FXM, and uh, my email address is rshaw at fxm.com, and I just want to draw attention to that um, email address. If you need to contact me, please go ahead, send me the email, and I'll apply as um, as soon as I'm able, today being uh, Wednesday, the 1st of December, 2021. Uh, I'm just going to bring up my high risk uh, investment warning. Uh, we'll keep this on screen for a few moments and uh, we'll try to do a, a scalp. I um, want to uh, draw your attention to the fact that there is going to be a another testimony uh, by Jerome Powell. Um, and this will be a, to a, a second uh, uh, committee on, on Capitol Hill. I would suspect most of the um, message is going to be similar to what he um, testified to in front of the banking uh, Senate committee yesterday. So I'm not sure the volatility will will, uh, will be matched. Uh, let's just go through and uh, bring up our market commentaries disclaimer. I'll keep that on screen for a few moments as well. And uh, let's just pop this uh, reference in. Uh, in case you you missed it yesterday, the there, there, there really was a pivot by the uh, the Fed chair. He um, he um, said it's time to get rid of the word transitory. So um, now there is an acknowledgement of a more sustained inflation. Of course, the X factor, as we know, is the, the Omicron. Um, but uh, by and large, it was a very hawkish um, tone. Um, just um, want to let you guys know the private payrolls as per ADP. So ADP is a, um, a private payroll uh, system. Um, and that came in ahead of expectations. So we, we got a reading there of 534,000 as opposed to the consensus of 506,000. Doesn't really move markets. Um, on occasion, I have seen it move markets, but generally doesn't. Um, but it's again, just another data point of this um, good um, um, jobs market data that we've seen. And of course, we've got the big one on Friday, which is non-farm payroll, which will be doing a live trade on a live account, as opposed to today we'll do a live trade, but it's, it's on a demo account. All right, let's just bring up, all right, let's bring up the, um, the chart. I want to switch, we've on, on the main layout here, so I want to, I want to uh, change this up. I want to uh, go through to our scalping layout, which uh, is what we use um, when we try to find the um, scalping opportunities. And we'll, we'll follow a, a similar uh, method, um, or uh, let, me refer, uh, let me rephrase it, a similar um, process in that we'll, we'll cycle through all of the, um, the US indexes see if we can pick up something there if we can't pick up anything there then we'll start looking at other instruments um, so let's start off with the s p all right so you can see that the starts actually um a shot sharply down just on the start but um, let's just go again top down so we'll start off with the the daily um this some uh, this is a difficult chart for for um, for us in my opinion we certainly in terms of the in terms of the zone analysis we're in a weak area but what we have been giving more um credence to in terms of the scalping is really the daily um, 
momentum. And we're using a fast stochastic here over five days. Um, this is just a percent K, so it's the raw, the raw reading over five days. And um, it is uh, ticking up. Okay, so that's the first thing to see if we can kind of get an alignment with some sort of upwards momentum here. And we'll go through to the um, S&P hourly. Mm, it certainly is looking tough to make that case so that we want to be going um, long, um, or is it? Let's just think about this. We're in, we're in zone one. Uh, we've got 24 minutes until this candle closes. So um, let's just uh, let's just verbalize what we have here. We've got this upwards momentum as per the fast stochastic. Uh, we've got um, a, a zone one positioning. Uh, and the reason I'm, I'm making this I mean, is because the last close, the, lo the last closed candles were in zone one. Uh, this is still an active candle. We could still close in zone one after this initial sell down. Um, so according to methodology, uh, perhaps, perhaps looking for some sort of uh, long here. Okay, and of course um, we have got the um, the RSI that's uh, pulled back into our um, into the area below 30, and we can start looking for some sort of uh, reference candle to see if we want to get um, if we want to get involved. So uh, we've got two minutes and seven seconds, and then we'll come back to this. Let's go through the rest of the um, indexes. So let's go through to NASDAQ. Okay, um, NASDAQ momentum to me um, is uh, stronger on two levels. Uh, the less important is that we're in zone two as opposed to zone three. In comparison to the um, SPX, and the momentum is above 50 and is also heading up. So um, uh, this chart looks um, better to me. Uh, let's go through to the Audi, and this is actually this is where that um, now unfortunately um, the Nasdaq's disqualified uh, for the time being. Why is it disqualified? We've actually closed in the neutral area here. Uh, and I'm talking specifically not to this active candle, I'm talking about the candle before it. It closed in the neutral area. So Nasdaq's uh, off the table for now. Uh, let's go through to the let's go through to the Dow. Okay, so uh, again, let's start off with the daily. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a good-looking chart at all. Um, I don't get this uptick here, but clearly very weak Dow Jones, isn't it? In zone three, not giving me um, too much confidence, to be honest with you. Let's just go down to the hourly. Um, we have got a zone one, okay, that's um, the last close candle. Uh, let's go through to the five minute and um, it's going to be a tough sell. Mm. Low, yeah, 34691. Uh, we'll put this here. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, Russell 2000. So get down here on the Russell. So uh, so certainly extra bearishness there, um, but the daily momentum probably uh, 
probably okay. And despite this uh, over here. Okay, so this is the actual reference candle here. That's the lowest low. Um, and I'm not certain I'm reading all, any of this correctly because um, perhaps I'm taking too uh, little um, note of the of the zone. So I'm tempted to look at other instruments, but let's just uh, let's just keep a, a, an eye on the um, the indices for now, and then we'll um, decide whether it's worth perhaps um, broadening the scope of the instruments we're looking at. Um, let's just take a look here. There's some, some support coming in. Uh, let's go back to the SMP. Okay, and how much time do we have left here? We've got two minutes, 45 seconds roundabout. Okay, so the daily momentum is there. Uh, I'm going back to the, I just want to reiterate, and uh, NASDAQ is off, off the table, it's out of bounds. We're, we're in the middle of neutral, so not much we can do with the NASDAQ today, or well, well, at least um, until it goes to either zone one or zone two, matching up with um, a daily momentum. Uh, let's just go through to um, Dow again. Okay, also um, some support coming in here for the Dow Jones. Uh, how much time we've got? One minute 45. Um, we just want to see where we close here. Okay. Um, I don't mind having a quick uh, look at the euro, just um, given we've got one minute 30 seconds. Okay, so the daily momentum's up. Oh, this is going to be tight. Okay. Going back to the um, okay, so it's, uh, Dow looking quite strong. We've got a minute left. Just go through US thirty. Uh, quite strong, and just to when I say quite strong, I'm talking specifically about. Well, this um, last candle, uh, let's go through to the uh, Russell. Mm, Russell's looking weak. See the, um, but we're also a candle behind here. So uh, it looks like this is the reference there. Okay, and we've got 30 seconds. Let's go back to the um, S&P. Okay, so thinking that we might put on a position either with this one or with this one, which is the Dow. Dow on a daily, um, I would suggest is weaker. I, I, I'm inclined um, potentially go with the S&P. There's a big gap down there on the open. 103 points. See, we closed there, we opened here, it's a big gap down there. And don't forget, we've got the, we've got the um, testimony in 15 minutes, which is potentially hugely uh, volatile. Nevertheless, we have got our um, three conditions here, so we will put in a, uh, an order. Let's make it 110. 110 gives us 11. And um, we've 
really going at uh, 180. We can actually, this account's grown, so we can actually go 190 now, right? So I think we can pay in about 17 here. Let's just see, yeah, 17 on the bar. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, uh, buy it, ask. Oh my goodness, what have I done here? Mm, I've shorted. <laughs> no, let's look. Let's redo this. I beg, beg your pardon. Um, Oh man, I'm actually losing my mind. I haven't done this enough. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's make this uh, 10. And uh, bar 17, yeah, that's 90. Let's make this one five. Yeah, that's better. All right, I beg your pardon. We were actually right. Uh, I put in a limit instead of a, a stop loss. Okay, let's see if we can. Um, do something with this. Okay, so we've got 1% uh, of the account at risk. <laughs> uh, Peter writes, some days more profitable to take the dog's frog. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I think those are, uh, Wise, wiser words seldom been said. <laughs> okay, just want to uh, reiterate, guys, this is a Demo uh, Friday, the live trade uh, will be on a live account for um, NFP. All right, what's going on here? We've got another minute left in this candlestick. We've got this uh, silliness over here, which I um, apologize for, nevertheless. That's 70 pips away from the uh, stop here. Okay, another 10 seconds, we'll get another uh, candlestick. And um, This is the last reference, and we might have a country here. Tears. So there's the swing low. This is potentially the swing high. All right, let's see how price action handles this. So the idea here, obviously, is to get price above our break even, start moving the stop loss up if we can, get some risk out. But 
it just looks as if I have been on the wrong side over here from the get-go. Let's just keep an eye on it. So we, we had a, a gap open. So we closed here, a gap open there, and then so a gap down to open, and then we had a gap down open to this one. So three gap downs here. So there is certainly a lot of pressure on the market as the as the market opens. We've almost got nine minutes now, I think, to the next um, spent hearing. I'll see if I get some information on that. A little bit of support coming in, thank goodness. Uh, let's just bring this up here. All right, I'll go back to the uh, chart in a moment. Just wanted to highlight um, this is the testimony for today. Uh, which is before the House Financial Services Committee. All right, let's put this out the way. So uh, there is, um, that's in eight minutes. Okay, two minutes left, yeah. So let's just examine the uh, the price action. So clearly, um, this is a this is a uh, candle of concern. So what we've got here is a push up by the bulls, and then at the high of this candle, uh, the bulls lost control and the bears pushed down. And this is a bearish candle, it's called a, a gravestone doji. Um, fair enough. But now we're looking to see if there's bearish follow through. And uh, so far, there hasn't been. We've got another minute 30. So we just want to see um, if we get a contra um, swing here. So this could be a swing high, whereas the active, believe it or not, the active swing is actually to the upside. This is the, this is the active swing because you've got the, um, here's the lowest low in at least three candles. And here is our condition two, three, right? So you've got um, price um, so far, um, the active swing, believe it or not, is up, um, even though we've got this guy here, which is uh, a cause for concern, but it would be uh, really devastating, I think, to the trade if we close below um, the Gravestone Doji's low. Um, that would be really bad news. Uh, if we go through to the hourly, uh, we're in zone one here uh, until in six minutes time. So we've got to close between the upper upper blue and upper red. Okay, that would keep us in the trade. And then uh, the fast stochastics pointing up. So that, those are kind of the um, reasons behind you know, the position. Um, it's not a good time to be trading before a testimony. Okay, so this is a, a demo account, so be um, aware of that. And then, of course, um, this sort of positioning here is a bit, um, you know, it's, it's not great um, in zone three. Nevertheless, uh, we still have the swing low and the five minutes being the active swing. Uh, we do have the hourly in zone one, and we do have the upwards momentum. So we stood in the trade, and now um, we haven't moved our stop loss. We want to try and move it up first opportunity. Okay. We're approaching now, I've drawn this resistance area here. So this is our first challenge. Okay. 
So it's just having a tough time dealing with that um, resistance. I think there's a, um, I think there's a belt of sellers there, uh, just because of the gap down between this, between these two, and then between these two, right? So um, let's see if we can get above that. So the bulls um, having a crack at that resistance level. Okay, we've got three minutes to that uh, Senate hearing as well. And uh, yeah, there they're pushing now against this belt of selling. Let's see how they do. Okay, now let's just move this up because the next. Uh, Wait, I can't, there we go. Uh, there we go. All right, so this is kind of the next setting because we got hit there, right? So let's see if we can overcome it. Another minute 45, and you just see that this level now has um, held up the bulls. So there's um, a tussle going on now. Uh, let's see who comes out on top. Okay, uh, something I haven't done. Uh, we buy at the ask, right? We sell at the bid. So we long, we're gonna, so when it just changes to bid, um, it just helps um, us in terms of the, the spread. So uh, we've, I've just changed it from the ask to the bid. And um, we're still battling this resistance area here. We've got 55 seconds. And this is actually an important um, last 40 seconds because if we go through to the hour, we want to stay in zone one, right? Because if we close out of zone one, that's going to disqualify the trade for us. Okay, because we don't trade if we're in neutral. So um, we just want the bulls at least to maintain some sort of position in the, um, the, the bullish area here. Okay, ten, 10 seconds to go here. All right, so we'll just check our positioning. Okay, so we, we're still in zone one, just to see our the momentum still pushing up. And uh, all right, so the bulls now uh, really uh, trying to push through the, this, um, this belt of sellers doing a pretty good job just in the first 20 seconds of uh, the scandal. Okay, I want to start getting some risk out of here pretty quickly. And um, of course, this is the first opportunity for me to say, keep an eye on that stochastic because uh, we want the stochastic to make its way up to 80 and hold that level. That would work um, um, the scalp in our favor. 
because it means the stochastic is, and, and just to be clear, this is a slow stochastic. It's a different indicator to the daily. But the idea here is once it moves to sort of the 80th percent in terms of the, um, the y-axis, then we're getting a real um, acknowledgement of momentum from the bullish side. All right, so we're going to now start uh, taking some of the risk out here. So we'll just move it just below the candle for now. Um, so we've taken off um, a considerable amount of risk. Um, I put on initially uh, 105 points, and we are down to about 60 roughly. Okay. So we've got 45, uh, 45 points of risk off the table. That's That's gone. All right, um, just take some more out. I want to go straight below this uh, resistance area. Okay, so we've got we're 100 points here. Uh, we've got to start, uh, this is a scalp, so we've got to start uh, locking in. So we're going to start locking in now. All right, and um, I'm going to switch this up now to um, to dynamic, and I'm just going to let the dynamic take us out here. So um, we know we should close in um, in profit, notwithstanding this uh, ridiculous uh, loss, which I uh, I just lost my uh, lost my bearings for a moment. So I think we can move this uh, resistance area. Um, cancel that. I can move. So clearly, this is the the next level that we're combating. Remember that the testimony is on. So, um, you know, something that the um, Fed says that the market um, sort of doesn't like, uh, we could uh, easily get stopped at, at, slip, at slippage. So just bear that in mind. All right. There we go. So uh, maybe something was said there. And uh, we've got this uh, big selling to So the resistance is actually kind of over here, isn't it? This kind of zone here. So we took out 60 points uh, minus this um, uh, ridiculous mistake I made. Nevertheless, um, I think that uh, this is um, an area that might be um, quite heavy to overcome. There's quite a bit, big selling to here. Also, if it was a live account, uh, I wouldn't take it, not, not until the testimony was out of the way. So um, that was, um, I think, the trade for today. I'm going to uh, download it. I'll upload it onto Insights. I'll put it onto our Telegram channel. And um, uh, uh, we'll try and do another one of these um, 
as soon as possible, but I do want to draw your attention to the fact that we're doing a live trade on uh, non-farm payroll Friday. So please join me for that. Uh, thanks very much for joining me this afternoon. And transit tree slippage. <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> and um, we'll chat tomorrow morning. Uh, Dax open. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great evening ahead.